Good morning, E day. Today is a D day. D as in dog diggity. Now with the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weather today will be a high of 41 with a low of 31 tonight. And the lunch today is hello, it's Taco Tuesday. Hello, Taco Tuesday! Do I really need to tell you? I hope not. And it is a soft chicken taco with a rice or turkey BLT salad, a bagel and a refried bean. Yummy! Refried beans, gotta love my, my beans. Alright, I am Mrs. Barchette and this is my co-host. I think. Not sure today. Thank you for tuning in to your Express News Now. Today is Tuesday, January 7th. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you had a great holiday break. And if you didn't, and I'm so sad, guess what? We're still here. Welcome back. Today for sports, we only have a boys modified swimming slash diving game versus Union Endicott at 5.30 p.m. Go Express. Oh, those modified boys are going to be diving today. All right, now we have a special today with Miss Nicole. Hi everybody, my name is Nicole St. Pierre. Um, some of you might know me as Miss Nicole. I do the lunch groups throughout the week. Um, starting up tomorrow, we're gonna be doing an anti-cigarette campaign. Um, what that's gonna consist of is roughly 300 of these bad boys. So they are gonna be hidden all over the school. Uh, the goal is for kids to find as many of them as they can over the next week. So you're gonna have from roughly Tuesday until Tuesday to find as many as you can. The one thing that I will clarify is they are gonna be hidden in classrooms. So therefore, please do not skip class because if you're skipping class, you're not gonna find them. Um, also, for the top three winners of each grade, so there's gonna be three winners for eighth grade and three winners for ninth grade, the top three that find the most are going to get Dunkin' gift cards. Um, and then certain select students, depending on what sticks you find, are gonna get airheads. So I hope you guys enjoy this. It's just going to be something kind of fun, something silly. Um, but please take it seriously. This is kind of a just raise awareness of how many cigarettes are kind of floating around the world. And our goal is to get rid of them. And you're going to turn them into me. And you're going to get rewarded for that. So thank you. Also, the sticks that have the number 8 on them are for 8th grade students. The sticks with 9 on them are for 9th grader students. Should only turn in the ones from their own grade. And you can be disqualified from the contest if you engage in any inappropriate, rude behavior while participating in the scavenger hunt. So did you understand that? Eighth graders, you're going to be looking for six with eighth grade on it. Ninth grade, you're going to have the nine on it because you're in ninth grade. So rude, inappropriate, in classrooms you're not supposed to be logging in will disqualify you. So please be aware. All right, now today we have a joke. My boss told me to have a good day. So guess what, Christian? I went home. You know, I know a lot of jokes about unemployed people, but none of them work. Ha! You get pranked to hear a double joke. Ha, ha, ha! <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> oh, no! Those cringy jokes are back. Oh, who keeps putting them in there? Oh, my Lord! Fact of the day! Here's a good one for you. If you thought the joke was cringy, it keeps on rolling. Did you know that a cornflake in the shape of Illinois, you heard me right, like the state Illinois, sold on eBay for $1,350 in 2008? Two Virginian sisters found a cornflake, you heard me right, you know, like frosty cornflakes, that was shaped like the state of Illinois and sold it on eBay. Monty Kerr, the owner of a trivia website from Austin, Texas, bought it for that $1,350. And he explained he wanted it as a special piece of cereal for his traveling museum. You heard me right, traveling museum. Nope, this is not the 1950s. We're starting a pop, uh, let me try that again. We're starting a collection of pop culture, not sure how a cornflake is pop, and Americana items, he told the local news. We thought this one was a fantastic one to add to that collection. <laughs> $1,350, really? Who is he getting against? Who else wanted a corn flake in the shape of Illinois? I'm not sure who is the guy buying or the people betting against him. Weird. Can you imagine someone was betting against this guy? Paid one thousand, so we actually betted for a corn, a single corn flake. 
really, what is this one? All right, on a different note, tonight at 6 p.m. in the Steel Memorial Library, there will be a sewing workshop. For those of you who like to sew, workshop will end at 8. Students will construct, that means build, sew, advanced sewing projects, including a folding tote bag. Bag. Tote bag. Folding? How do you fold a tote bag? I have no idea what they're talking about. Other projects may include a pillowcase or an apron for those of you who like to cook. Apron. You know, so you stay clean. This class will also teach basic sewing machine maintenance, like how to take care of that machine. You got to take care of the machines. There is a registration fee for the workshop and all other sewing workshops that will come after it. However, so please note that it's a thirty-dollar charge for the materials. It's a little steep, guys, but if you like to sew, what a great opportunity! Now, Christian. Well, that's all for today. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. And as always, make, make sure, sure to be, be like Ernie, Ernie today. today. Our, Our January focus is showing self-discipline. Self -discipline. Have a great, great day, day everyone. I had none today. <laughs>